What's going on, guys? This is Mario Piazza of NP Media here with the Hungry Wind Podcast. From all the awesome feedback I got from the seven red flags with working with photographers, I got some new ones that some of y'all ladies sent me. So I'm gonna read a few of these and add them to the list. Refusing to give portfolio info or references from other models that they've shot with. Personally for me, I always do a reviews highlight thing in my, uh, in my Instagram profile and on my website. You can contact the model I worked with some of the shots we shot and their review they gave on me. So if a photographer doesn't provide that, I can see that as a red flag for sure. You always want references for the person you're working with, model or photographer. Here's another one. If a paid work for model promising to pay after the shoot or upon certain conditions. Yeah, even as a photographer, I always expect a deposit before shoot. No pay, we don't play. Pretty much that should go for models as well. So if a, if a photographer is promising to pay you afterwards, yeah, that doesn't work. You should be paid prior to working with them. At least a 50% non-refundable deposit. And here's a big one I get a lot, and I'm quite surprised from this. I was even told this in person a few times. Taking offense to or full on not allowing a model to bring a friend or chaperone or significant other to their shoot. Yeah, guys, big red flag. If a photographer is wanting private one-on-one -on -one with the model, yeah, that's a no-go. A model should always have the opportunity to bring someone along to make them feel more comfortable and more safe. If the photographer is denying that, do not go and shoot. That is complete horseshit. Personally for me, if a significant other, friend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever, if they come, that's an extra pair of hands for me to help with the shoot. So if I'm doing a messy paint shoot, I'm gonna have the husband put messy paint all over his wife, get them involved, get them, get them to have a good time. Same thing with glitter or anything messy. I like the other pair of hands to get involved and have fun with the shoot. If it's not a messy shoot, they're gonna help with lights. Why don't, brother, why don't you hold the light over your wife this way? Look how awesome she looks, get them involved, have a good time so they feel comfortable with me as well. That is important. So in the future, they will rebook you and there's more money on the table, more content, more shoots. If a photographer is denying that, bullshit, red flag, do not shoot with them. Well, complete horseshit, alternate motives in the end. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. So guys, I love the feedback you're giving on some of these uh, podcast messages I'm sending. Keep commenting, give, keep giving feedback. I like doing more of these from the feedback I get from you. So keep sending them my way. This is Mark, stay hungry, stay focused. I hope you all keep kicking ass.